The Steam Deck dock is finally here. Well, sort of. While Valve's first party dock may currently be in production limbo, you can actually currently snag yourself a pretty decent third party docking solution on Amazon for a very fair price. And I gotta be honest here, this thing is kind of a game changer and I like this thing a lot. So much so in fact, I decided to make a second setup in my office completely centered around the Steam Deck. All right, let's not waste any time here and get right to the dock. This is the Owl Tree 5-in-1 Steam Deck dock. As of recording this video, you can find this on Amazon, along with other rebranded options for around $35. The hub has five available ports, hence the 5-in-1 name, and those ports include an HDMI 2.0 port that supports up to 4K resolution, a USB Type-C port with support for 45 watt quick charging, and three USB 3.0 ports. To use this with your Steam Deck, simply plug in the desired peripherals, set your Steam Deck on the dock, and plug in the attached cable. There is no power cable that is included with this dock, which isn't a big deal considering the price and the fact that you don't really need a power cable in order to make this function with your Steam Deck. But I just ended up using the Steam Deck's included charging cable and everything worked just fine. The setup here is made up of mostly things that I wasn't using in my primary setup. The monitor is an older 1080p 144 Hertz MSI monitor that I had with my first PC build. The keyboard is the GK61 that I reviewed a while back. And for the mouse, I'm using my old tried and true Logic Logitech G305. Initially, I was going to use this Xbox dongle with the Steam Deck dock, but I couldn't get it to work for some reason, so I decided to forego that and just use the Bluetooth functionality with the controller and use that extra USB port for my Steel Series headset. Now, as someone who has practically zero experience using Linux-based systems, running this thing in desktop mode and getting to play my Steam games was frankly just really straightforward and painless. I did end up having to change my display settings so that my external monitor would be recognized as the primary display, but after that, everything was pretty much smooth sailing from there. I could easily open up Discord to chat with friends and launch my game of choice from Steam and have a good time playing games like The Witcher 3, GTA 5, or even emulate PS2 games. I mean, the Steam Deck is just a really cool low budget PC that happens to also be portable. If you're unfamiliar with the Steam Deck, just keep in mind also that this dock isn't going to make your Steam Deck run any faster and it's not going to improve the graphics of your games. So if you got this thing to hook up to your 4K monitor and play AAA games at native 4K, well, you're probably going to have a less than desired experience. With that said, the Steam Deck offers a lot of versatility, and even more so when you pair it with a dock like this. Whether you want to use it with your TV like a Nintendo Switch, or use it to type up a script for a YouTube video. A dock like this will allow you the versatility of using the peripherals that you wish with your Steam Deck without that unsightly mess that you get with traditional dongles. I mean, using the dock with the Steam Deck has honestly just sort of made me more excited to see what Valve might have to offer with their first party deck. And yeah, I just think that I kind of want to buy more of these things so I can put them all around my house and have them available at different TVs so I can game with my Steam Deck wherever I choose. If you want to pick up a dock like this for yourself, I'll be sure to leave Amazon affiliate links to this one and others like it in the description down below. And if you have any questions about this product that I neglected to talk about in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And yeah, that about does it for this one, everyone. Thank you again, as always, for watching the video and checking out the channel. Let us know if you like this type of Steam Deck related content by hitting that like or dislike button. Feel free to hit us up on any of our social media platforms, including our Discord community server, all listed in the description down below. And yeah, that's enough rambling out of me. Thank you again so much for watching. My name is Blake, and for all things tech games to really anything nerdy in between, be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.